Yes, the Milady Bleed build is one of the most overpowered and broken builds of the new Elden Ring DLC and after the patch 1.12.3. So you're noticing it annihilate enemies and if you use the Assassin Gambits, you can explore every single area. The enemies, the NPCs will notice when you're buffing until it's too late and you can annihilate them in one or two hits. Now, as you're noticing, I'm using the Assassin's Gambit skill on the Misericord Dagger. The skill is pretty useful to explore the areas without being ambushed, so you don't have to be sus all the time and kill even the bigger enemies in 2-3 hits. Even the birds, you can get them really easy, stagger them, and if you want to become Fighter PL, you can use your Party Dagger or the Buckler too. Now you might be wondering, well what happens with the annoying unreachable enemies? Time to pull out your serpent bow that scales with bleed and skill to play Apex Legends. And even the bigger enemies you can stagger them easily for a nice backstab, parry, whatever you want to do. This really works amazing for mini bosses and bosses. For dragons it's perfect too because of the skill and you can stagger them or bleed them really really fast so I'm about to get into the build so let's start Blood Milady of course the Blood Misery record with the Assassin's Gambit for stealth and for the bleed repost Secret Dagger for the Golden Bow buff Serpent Bow to reach the unreachable enemies the Parry Dagger or the Buckler and also the Seal to use the Grand Miss Strength buff as well. All that armor is to increase the bleed except of the uh, chest piece, which is just my style, and all those talismans are the best for this build. Now the Green Burst tier, Crystal tier, amazing for the re uh, recovery speed of the stamina, and the other one you can swap it, I use that one just to uh, increase the successive attack power, but you can use the one that increases guard or is um, breaking enemies, uh, stance, it's up to you. 100 and 150 level, uh, 52 of uh, vigor, mine 15, you can change that to 20 if you want. Um, endurance 30, the strength just a minimum requirement uh, for the lady, the 30 60, and that was increased by one of the talismans, the one with the hand, forgot the name. So it's 55, all you have to level uh, the dexterity is to 55, intelligence you don't need to level it, faith 15. Uh, but you can also use that spell that you see there to heal, and you can change one of the talismans where you're exploring uh, to increase faith so you can heal in case that you want to do extra heals and you're exploring the game. And um, arcane 40, that's more than enough to annihilate enemies and bosses. Thank you very much for watching, if you want to see more videos of uh, overpowered builds, uh, let me know in the comments and if you have any suggestions, much appreciated guys, see you in the next one.